Hi and welcome to my next video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can protect your hair from chlorinated water in a pool or from the salt water in the ocean. I hope that my tips can help you, so let's get started. Chlorine and salt water are very famous for damaging the hair. As a child, when I went swimming in the pool, it always tangled my hair and sometimes it was so bad that my mom would have to grab the scissors and cut off some of my hair that's still knotted together. My first tip starts the night before you know you're going to be putting your hair in the water. The night before I go swimming, I do a deep conditioning hair treatment using a very, very highly conditioning mask. This will make your hair super conditioned and soft and will help your hair to remain soft the next day as you're going swimming. This will also help to prevent tangles as well. Some of my favorite deep conditioning masks are the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, Restore and Treatment Mask. I also like the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Nourishing Hair Mask with some keratin. The day that I know I'm going swimming, I add a little bit of a light coating of an oil onto my hair. If you don't have any oils, you can use your favorite hair serum. Oil and water, they repel each other. Having a barrier, a physical barrier between the water and your hair will help to prevent the chlorinated water or the drying seawater from getting right into your hair and absorbing into your hair. Don't add too much, you only need a little bit of oil to lightly coat your hair, almost like you would use a hair serum. A really great oil to use would be something like coconut oil. Coconut oil is a wonderful choice since it penetrates the hair shaft and this will help to protect your hair even more. Some really great choices besides coconut oil are olive oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, and you can even try almond oil. Whatever oil that you like to use to oil your hair, that's something that I would use. Then after that, I would add a very light coating of a deep conditioning mask to my hair or my favorite conditioner. Something like a very, very thin layer of this I would add to my hair. You only need a small amount. Or you can use your favorite conditioner, something like this. This is another conditioner that I really like. Something that's very thick and creamy like this. See how it's very thick like that? That's something that I would recommend using. This is also going to act as a physical barrier between the seawater or the chlorinated water from getting right into your hair shaft. This again is to act as a physical barrier between the water and your hair. You only need a very, very small amount. It's not meant at all to saturate your hair, just to very gently coat your hair to protect it from damage. If you don't want to put anything in your hair when you're going into the pool, you can always use some protective hairstyles. Something such as braids or buns are really good. I do prefer using a braid. Braids are the best in my opinion. You can make a braid like the regular three strand braid, a Dutch braid, a French braid. All of these really cute hairstyles will help to prevent your hair from tangling and it looks cute too. I like the regular three strand braid the best. It's simple and it keeps my hair out of my face. It also prevents any tangling in my hair. I would use a very gentle hair tie on the ends of your hair, something like this that's stretchy and it has a smooth material. And you just tie this off at the end of your braid and make sure that it's tight enough so that it stays on your braid but it does not tug at your hair. Another option that you have is using a swimming cap. Now I know these are not very popular but they are very good. They're also extremely effective at keeping all of the water out of your hair completely. This is the only guaranteed way to make sure that the water does not touch your hair. They may be an unpopular pick, but if you don't want to put anything in your hair at all, this is another great option for you. It's very good if you really, really don't want a single drop of water getting into your hair. It'll completely prevent the water from touching your hair. If you have very long hair like I do, the best way I think to wear your hair when you have a swimming cap is using a Nautilus bun, also known as the Lazy Wrap Bun. I do have a video tutorial showing exactly how I do the Nautilus bun in every single step. It's very simple and slow so you can see exactly how to do the bun. I wouldn't recommend using any kind of hair sticks or hair forks when using a swimming cap since it could puncture the swimming cap and you don't want that to happen. Now say you're already at the pool or you're already at the ocean and you completely forgot to do any kind of precautions for your hair. The best thing you can do is first detangle your hair and then go into maybe one of the public showers that they have. Completely saturate your hair in that clean water. This will prevent the chlorinated water from getting into your hair. Your hair is almost like a sponge. If you ever completely saturated a sponge in water, at a certain point you can't add any more water because it's already filled up with water and no more water 
water can get into the sponge. Your hair is exactly the same way, it's like a sponge. If you completely saturate your hair in the non-chlorinated water, just regular shower water, this will prevent the chlorinated or seawater from seeping into your hair causing damage. It's almost like a barrier. The whole point of all these tips is to create a barrier from the water and your hair. So those are my tips. I would still recommend, even if you wet your hair, braiding your hair and using a hair tie to tie it off at the end. This will prevent tangling in your hair, which you really don't want, especially if you have long hair, because it will take a very, very long time to detangle your hair. And it'll just be one big problem that I don't want you to have to deal with. Now this is a very important tip. After swimming in the ocean or swimming in the pool, first thing that you're going to want to do is rinse out all of your hair and rinse out seawater, all of that chlorinated water out of your hair as much as possible. Since this will help to diminish any chlorinated water or seawater in your hair, and since you're doing it right after swimming, your hair will have the least amount of damage. Doing this will help to rinse out any of the chlorine or salt water that's left in your hair after swimming. The sooner that you rinse it out, the better the condition of your hair will be. If you bought a shampoo with you, I would highly recommend using it. I would definitely recommend using a clarifying shampoo like this one, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow and Restore Shampoo. I would recommend this one since it's clarifying. It says on the bottle, you can use any shampoo that you have as long as it says clarifying on it. The clarifying shampoo will be another step to get the chlorine or the salt water out of your hair. I would also recommend using your favorite conditioner or deep conditioner afterwards since this will help to keep your hair soft and prevent tangles as well. So these are all of my tips. I hope I could help you guys with keeping your hair safe in the water this summer. So I hope you guys could enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you again next Sunday. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I hope I see you again next Sunday. Bye!